And so the characteristics of the data layer, uh, they're going to help those goals that I, was, uh, that I started with. Um, they're going to reduce server-side customization because I didn't have to work on a huge design of my storage, data storage model. You saw I was storing my data exactly as it came in from the outside world. Typically, people will have their own customization, extra items they want to add for their own institution and so on. And typically they will do that using XML namespace capability. So they will add their own sections of, of data. But you can get started much more quickly if, you, if, you, if, your, if your storage structures match the external one. You can prototype applications quickly. So, so I've seen that repeatedly over and over again. You can, you, you got your XML, you've got your set of services that you can do certain things with, which I'll tell you more about, and, and you can get started very quickly and you can have a prototype ready in a few hours um, uh, for, to, to show um, something working. And of course, your complexity has been vastly reduced because you're not, especially doing all these mappings, you're not, you're not designing those mappings, you're not coding those mappings. You're working with the constructs that exist in the, in the outside world. And you can respond to data structure changes with agility. You saw I was inserting um, some XML that didn't exactly match the insurance schema. I just inserted the last name. And I couldn't have insisted that it matched. However, it's very nice that you're able to switch to another schema and put it in the same collection. And so your data structures change and your system just carries on running. If, the, if those, if with a language like XQuery or XSLT, if the elements or attributes are there, they get picked up. If they're not there, they're irrelevant. So, so it, 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 it uh, it's, uh, structure changes are handled very, very smoothly.